Why I wear the mask all this while? Oh my god. I'm very fat. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, hi guys, my name is Ismail and you're watching Check My Elfly So, uh, I've taken quite a break <laughs> I've taken quite a long break I don't know, like, you know, life <laughs> Anyway, I just want to be happy again <laughs> When I decided that I wanted to do YouTube Obviously, you know, your, your my main intention that, you know, if I was successful Then it could be like a second form of income and whatnot It takes a lot of work, you know, it's not like it's not like, you know, you go for an interview and then you pass and then, you know, you get a good salary. But, you know, like YouTube is something that obviously you need to work so hard for. It's not like it's easy money, you know. Like, what did I expect, right? I realized that I feel the most enjoyment when I actually record, when I actually edit, and then I have like a final product. And then, you know, it feels good if a lot of people watch. And then if not, then I think like... I think I'm kind of okay with it, right? Today, I actually thought I wanted to share with you like a typical Sunday. I actually have to go to a wedding today. So I thought that, you know, I could just record a bit of like what a pandemic wedding would look like. I just finished my prayers and then I have to go to work and then I will go to my brother's house. Coincidentally, he lives nearby my workplace. And after that, we will go to the wedding and then I think that will be it. So let me share you my sunday <laughs> this is what i had for breakfast i know it's not like the healthiest thing but i just hate doing dishes so <laughs> so yeah i still have to do some dishes this is what i'm planning to wear to the wedding so this gray oversized t-shirt from asos and then this gray white leg pants because i saw someone on pinterest wear <laughs> this look so i just straight up copy this is my look i'm wearing this beanie that i got from from asos wait so i've been trying to like i think i want to wear beanies now so just trying and then this t-shirt is from asos as well and i have this white leg pen so this is my look for today this is my new favorite bag it looks like vintage but it's actually asos uh, it's actually this um fake leather and it was peeling so i just peel everything out and then i like it it looks like a vintage looking bag but it smells like old clothes but yeah whatever Yeah, I'm finally back home. So it was actually a very nice wedding. I think simply because it's like it's been quite a while since you meet with all your relatives and whatnot. So I actually enjoyed myself. The food was good, and then you know, like like in all um, wedding, they will always give you what do you call it, ah, berkat. Berkat. Mm. The best thing that you can give at your wedding, like a Malay wedding, right, is food. Like, you know, like this. Who doesn't want this? We don't do. Chocolate flavored somehow. Like, they know me. Oh, I got another thing here. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, right? I like this kind of marks because they don't say, like, you know, who's wedding and wedding here. Like, it's okay, like, we don't need to be reminded of. Like, we went to your wedding already, so it's okay. I realized that this bag that I was saying earlier reminds me of a bag that my father used to give me it was his work bag i remember he passed it to me and i love that bag i keep bringing that bag and then i don't know where that bag is right now i don't know whether it's been torn and then it was given away but i really like that bag so when i came across this bag on asos ah, i really like this bag and then but the thing is this bag has it has this wax finish on it and then that wax resin 
has worn off so it looks like this old vintage looking bag it smells like old clothes but i was in the bus and then this bloody thing go and stain can you see you you need to so i thought maybe i could show you what's in my bag so i went to work today so it's it's consists of things that i always go to work it's actually very boring okay my brother decided to give me a t-shirt i don't really want any more clothes but see they gave it to me i probably wear it at home staple and then it's so not my brother why he buy these kind of things anyway i always have a a prayer what do you call this thing? It's something that, that guys wear when they do their prayer. So I bring this to work. My friend from work decided to give me a chocolate rice crispy thing. It's so delicious. And she's like, hey, it's well, like, Merry Christmas. You can share it with me. I'm like, share? Like, what's that? I don't want to share. But I share it with my brother. He ate two pieces. I ate one and there's two. So another thing in my bag is this Panadol water bottle. I bought two packs of Panadol and they gave me this bottle which is kind of convenient because I needed a water bottle and this is the perfect free H&M umbrella that I got I always have my charger and then I have this Muji case that I bought like a thousand million years ago which has all my emergency things like extra mask, measuring tape, Panadol, I have tissue, pen and then I also have this body mist spray my friend from work sold this to me, Ferra Rosa Farhana sell this to me. Then in the front pocket here, I have my important things like my wallet. This is my Vivian Westwood wallet. I love this wallet. Have you guys been in that quest to find that perfect wallet? Like everybody has their own version of their, their perfect wallet. Right? So this is my per super perfect wallet. Look at how old this wallet is. I think I got it from the boutique itself. Uh, the, my first wallet was the same thing. I bought it from ASOS and then it got worn out and then I decided that I love that wallet so much I want to buy the same thing but that one has a huge orb it's a bit tacky but now I like it because it just says Vivian Westwood here and then it has this flap thing here so you just open and then you have your three cut slots here and then it says Vivian Westwood here so I'm not a person who likes to carry a lot of unnecessary cards or any unnecessary things I don't have like any special credit card or what not a rich the best thing I like about it this wallet is this huge coin compartment here it has all the off print all over i really like wallets with the coin compartment so you have everything in one wallet and i'm still traditional i like to carry some cash i really like it if the coin compartment is huge and easy to use and accessible like this like some wallets like a bit small i don't like that the cash slot there's like two slots one slot is for your money and then another slot is maybe for your receipts. If this wallet falls apart, I am probably going to buy the same wallet. So yeah, I always eat this, this, this one. And then I have my transportation card, medical cards that I need is here. And then I have my transportation card, a token, and then I have my work key. So, yeah, so I have everything in this card case from Jim Thompson. I don't know whether you guys know Jim Thompson. Who in this age will use a key holder? Wow, it's my. I, are you like 69 years old? I still use this, mashallah. This thing is given to me by my best, super best friend in the whole wide world, okay? It's not got a brand, okay? It's a like helmet lung, okay? And people will be like, so? It's perfect because it has six slots because I live in two, well not, I don't live in two houses. So these are my mom's keys, my mom's house key, and then these are like my house key. And then like the 70 year old me, right, is still living in the age where he, I'm still using the earphone with the wire. Those airport thingy, right, is actually invented for me because I hate this this wire thingy like hanging all over the place right so i thought when i when that was created i was like oh my god the person who created that was thinking of me because i really like to listen to music and i still prefer the traditional earphone not those huge um unless somebody buy it for me so i bought one brand called happy call and then it decided to like not be happy anymore for like even less than a year i paid 70 dollars for that thing and then he's like so i went to my brother's house just now and then he he had one from unique and then he's like it's 200 dollars like, oh, i cannot i don't want to pay so much money for it so i just paid so this is what 10 dollars and still does the same thing so 
okay lah, tak cerewet lah. I actually had a great time today. I went to work and then I met my brother to catch up on things and I went to a wedding and I catch up on some of my relatives and I'm back home and it's already 5 o'clock so I probably should take a shower and move on with my life. I want to make sure that next year I enjoy my life a bit other than just work. So, until I see you in the next video, bye.